Renaissance Period in English Literature 1500-1660 Introduction Renaissance period is one of the most important periods in English literature. So far as the Renaissance period is concerned it began in 1453, but its effect on English life and literature was felt after 1500. For this reason, it is generally accepted that the Renaissance period was at the beginning of the 16th century and continued till the Restoration period. It is a clear line between the Middle and the Modern English Literature period. The word Renaissance is derived from the Italian Renaissance means rebirth. The French historian Jules Michelet used Renaissance for the first time. Italy was the cradle of the Renaissance. It began in Italy in the 14th century and ended in the mid-17th century. This period of 160 years is subdivided into two ages according to the ages. Elizabethan Age The Puritan Age The Elizabethan Age, 1558-1603 this age is named after Queen Elizabeth I, who reigned over England from 1558 to 1603. This is the most glorious age of English literature. With the accession of Queen Elizabeth I, dynastic problems and political chaos come to an end. Geographical and astronomical discoveries brought unlimited fortune during this period. Renaissance that had started earlier was now very strongly felt in England. Major writers and their major works. Thomas More, his famous works are Utopia, and it was originally written in Latin. Edmund Spencer, he is called the poet of the poet because after his death many later English poets followed his art of poetry. His famous work is The Fairy Queen's and The Shepherd's Calendar. Thomas Kidd, he is one of the poets in the group of university wits. His famous work is The Spanish Tragedy. Sir Philip Sidney, he penned several major works including Astrophel and Stella, Arcadia, and The Defense of Poesy. Advancement of Learning University Wits, it is the group of a dramatist who wrote and performed in London towards the end of the 16th century. They are called university wits because they were the witty students of Cambridge or Oxford. Christopher Marlowe, Robert Greene, Thomas Nash, Thomas Lodge, George Peel, and Thomas Kidd. Christopher Marlowe, Tamburlaine the Great, Diar, Faustus, the Jew of Malta, and Edward II are his famous work. William Shakespeare, Shakespeare was known as England's national poet and Bard of Avon. He wrote 37 plays and 154 sonnets. His famous works are, Henry VI, Part 1, 2, 3, Richard III, Love's Labor's Last, Romeo and July's, A Midsummer Night's Dream, Richard II, Henry IV, Part 1, 2, Henry V, The Merchant of Venice, much Ado About Nothing, Julius Caesar, As You Like It, Hamlet Twelfth Night, Othello Hamlet, Macbeth, King Lear. Ben Jonson, he wrote in a time when Romanticism was the main mode of expression. He is called a neoclassical ruler of dream. Every Man in His Humor, Balpone, The Silent Women, and The Alchemist, is his famous work. John Webster, John Webster wrote The White Devil and The Duchess of Malfi. Literary Features of the Period The Elizabethan Age is regarded as the golden age in the history of English literature. The Renaissance brought ancient Greek and Roman wisdom to England. The social life of England was marked by a strong national spirit, humanism, religious broad-mindedness, scientific progress social content, and intellectual progress. All these aspects of social life are reflected in the writing of this period. Puritan Age The Puritan Age was named after the Puritan movement in England in the 17th century. 
Puritans were a group of English-speaking Protestants who were dissatisfied with the religious reformation movement carried out during the reign of Queen Elizabeth. This age is also known as the Age of Milton, because the greatest literary figure, John Milton, was a Puritan. This period is remarkable for the decay of drama and the closing of the theaters in 1642 gave a jolt to the development of drama. Puritan poetry also called Jacobean and Caroline poetry during the reigns of James I and Charles I respectively can be divided into three parts. Poetry of School of Spencer Poetry of Metaphysical School Poetry of the Cavalier Poet Puritan Age The Puritan Age was named after the Puritan movement in England in the 17th century. Puritans were a group of English-speaking Protestants who were dissatisfied with the religious reformation movement carried out during the reign of Queen Elizabeth. This age is also known as the Age of Milton, because the greatest literary figure, John Milton, was a Puritan. This period is remarkable for the decay of drama and the closing of the theaters in 1642 gave a jolt to the development of drama. Puritan poetry also called Jacobean and Caroline poetry during the reigns of James I and Charles I respectively can be divided into three parts. Poetry of School of Spencer Poetry of Metaphysical School Poetry of the Cavalier Poet Poetry of School of Spencer The Spencerians were followers of Spencer. They considered Spencer as their master. Phineas Fletcher, Giles Fletcher, William Brown, and Drummond are the poet of this age. Poetry of Metaphysical School The term metaphysical may be applied to any poetry that deals with spiritual or philosophical matters. Among these poets, John Donne is the most notable. Other metaphysical poets were George Hertberg, Richard Crawshaw, Henry Vaughan, Thomas Carew, Abraham Cowley, and Andrew Marvel. The term metaphysical poets was first used by Samuel Johnson. Poetry of the Cavalier Poet The Cavalier Poets wrote in the 17th century and supported King Charles I. These poets opposed metaphysical poetry. The best known of Cavalier Poets are Robert Herrick, Richard Lovelace, Thomas Carew, and Sir John Suckling. Conclusion Thus, Renaissance period ended with the beginning of the Restoration period. It has had a great effect on the development of English literature. It was an important movement that illuminated the whole of English literature. Paradise Lost is the last great triumph of the Renaissance.